Welcome to the weekly podcast all about turning the great American RV adventure into stress-less camping. Each week we explore tips, tricks, ideas, and destinations and talk to the happiest campers in the RV world. Pull up a seat at the campfire as we enjoy some stress-less camping. Welcome to the fireplace. Yeah, absolutely. I'm Tony. And I'm Peggy. And we are two RV industry veterans who travel part-time. In a small trailer. Looking to share big adventures and help you with great tips. Tricks. And discounts. And we have friends with us today. We do have friends with us today. And the reason I said welcome to the fireplace is the high today in Indiana is going to be 77. That's been the low temperature for about the past two months of yeah. places that we've been. And we actually woke up and said, it's a tiny bit chilly. Let's yeah. turn on the fireplace. We actually, the, <laughs> we actually used our fireplace this morning. It was amazing. And, and we we're recording in August. So it's smack dab in the middle of summer. Right. And I want to just give a quick shout to those of you who are listening on audio like you always do. We are filming this. This is also a video podcast. So... If you want to see us, you can watch this on YouTube. We will put some pictures on the show notes so that you can see what the unit is that we're looking at. But we're going to be talking specifically about a unit that we have right in front of us. So and if, behind us, sort of. And behind us. And so if some things don't quite make sense because you feel like you should be seeing something, you're right. Go check that out on our YouTube channel. Yeah, and if you feel like a lot of people do that I look better in audio only. I can't disagree <laughs> with that. Then just look at the pictures in the notes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So we have a couple of guests with us today. We do. So even before our chat topic, let's Let's introduce. have you introduce yourselves. Hello, my name is Ben Miller. I'm with uh, ABC Marketing, president at ABC and ABC Upfitters. And uh, we're just here today to talk to you guys about kind of what we're doing for Forest River and uh, ABC Outfitters. Great. I'm Stacy Johnson. I am the project and marketing manager at ABC Marketing. And I also kind of flop over into the Upfitters and behind the scenes kind of thing. Super. Thank you so much for joining us. And we, uh, he's off camera, but I'm sure you know that the lawnmower, the lawnmower guy is, is here. also here. This so, Tony called it this morning, the state bird of the Indiana. The state bird of Indiana. Every time everywhere we, come to, we are, there's a lawnmower every single day. <laughs> by the way, we are in Elkhart, Indiana. We are. The no, well, capital. technically we're in Goshen. Oh, you're right. The <laughs> capital of the RV industry That's for right. a good reason. Uh, by the time this comes out, you, if you are attending the Frog Rally, hopefully you'll come and see us. We are gonna have, we're going to be in a trailer that looks just like this one. That's right. Actually, this will come out a couple days before the That's rally true, starts. Yeah, so Thursday. if you hear this and you're like, gosh, I wish we could meet them, run on over to Elkhart. Hurry, yeah. you have two days. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, also, uh, usually we'd save this for the end, but we will also be at the FMCA rally next week. So we're going to hightail it out of here uh, in a couple of weeks and head over to Nebraska. Mm -hmm. Right. Nebraska, yes. And go uh -huh. to the Frog Rally. Right. I mean, to the No, FMCA we are at rally. the Frog we're Rally. The That's frog right. Rally. And then we're Actually, going to FMCA convention. <laughs> Here's the funny thing. We are the only <gasps> people at the Frog Rally right, right now. Right, so far. We showed up really early because <laughs> we're going to do some other factory tours and things that we'll tell you about in the next couple weeks. So we are super early birds except yeah. there is a group over there that i hear is a yeah, they call party crowd the frog fatties <laughs> and they are into the beer so i'm going to be checking that out so we're going to talk a little bit more to ben and stacy right after this <laughs> have gas prices got you down <laughs> you can stay closer to home and experience local attractions in and around your city like never before you can park your rv on site at a nearby harvest host like a farm and grab essentials that you might usually have to get at the supermarket, like wine. Like wine. <laughs> <laughs> or alpaca, for, uh, alpaca, alpaca blankets. blankets. <laughs> uh, but you can skip the costly trip and um, stay at a harvest host. There's over 3,000 locations and there's sure to be something for you. You could escape the crowded and noisy campgrounds that have lawnmowers <laughs> in favor of a private spot on a beautiful property. Yeah, Boondockers Welcome and Harvest Host allows RVers to experience their communities like never before. Enjoy truly 
unique experiences at over 3,000 locations in the United States and Canada without the camping fees. But best yet... Yeah, through the end of August, use the link in our discounts and deals page and get 20% off with the manual code HH Friends HH 20. Friends 20. So that's 20% off. <laughs> now, if you use the deals and discounts link on our website, it will say to use a thing that says blah blah 15. And normally we give we have a 15% discount for our listeners, but right now in August it's 20%. So if yep. you've been considering it and you just thought, if only I could say five more percent, well, this is your chance. Yeah. So how's that for stressless camping? Wow, the biggest rig just drove by. By the way, we are outside and they are starting to set up the frog rally. So right. again, we appreciate your patience with the sounds. Yes. So, All right. We are once again here with Ben and Stacy, and they are from ABC Upfitters. And Tony, you already have put out a video that we were allowed to announce on August 1st from Rockwood. Yeah, so on August 1st, we were able to release the fact that Rockwood has what's called the power package on several of their units. And what that is, is a heck of a solar and battery system that is extremely well integrated. And we posted a video uh, with an interview with the Master Boat people about that system. And we also posted a video about our personal experiences. And we got a lot of responses from people saying, wow, how can I put that in my rig? Now, of course, you could put that in your rig by yourself, but it's not made to work together and so, the beautiful, beautiful thing about the system we're going to learn today is it's all designed to work together from the very beginning all the way until it's installed. So if you do it yourself and you piecemeal it together, you might have one connection that doesn't have the same type of connector or something. <laughs> and and then you just got to Mickey Mouse it together and... Well, you're, you're playing with a lot of electricity. And it's a and lot, a lot of, of electricity, power, right. And uh, things can go wrong in a hurry. And we've seen a lot of people on our social media channels where they said, oh, I bought, you know, $10,000 worth of batteries and solar and and I'm sure I'll get it working one. And, and that's just, that's a lot of money to spend on something that just, that just doesn't, doesn't work. work well. And we described how well our Master Volt system works in this. And it's just seamless and bulletproof and just works and so because of all those requests of how do i put that in mind we wanted to have ben's ben going to tell us about it tell yeah tell us more about that all right thank you uh, tony and peggy for having us first of all i uh i really appreciate uh, the opportunity um but yeah uh tony has done a really good job of kind of explaining what uh, what we're doing and what's in the uh, mini light unit with the power package and uh, so what we do ABC marketing our company is a uh, manufacturer's representative and we are responsible for working with Mastervolt and the parent group Navico and they own all these brands uh, including Blue Sea Systems BEP Mastervolt and uh, have the resources and engineering to put together these, these great systems. And so it's our job to work with the local OEMs here and the RV builders to help them integrate a system that works custom to their floor plan. So um, we've done that with the Rockwood Flagstaff Division in both the uh, Geo Pro and E Pro lines. Um, started a couple years ago there. We got really got some good response with that and worked with some other customers as well on OEM applications and so that's grown now into the mini light micro light but again what we do with that is we say we're not just offering a battery and an inverter and a solar panel. We look at what the application is and what the customer experience is and then we'll design a system around that with the components we have available to make a fully integrated system for your needs, your camping needs. So um, that's what we did with the team at uh, Mini Light Micro Light. And as we've grown into uh, this in the OEM applications, we see a lot of uh, DIY. We've uh, Stacy's done a good job of following social media and what people are doing out there. 
there's a ton of DIY people putting together different parts and pieces, and there's a huge demand for this off the grid uh, with the uh, campgrounds being full and uh, limited uh, power uh, availability at certain places and you know uh, generator restrictions and that type of thing. So we saw the need for not only OEMs to be able to offer this to customers, but also um, to offer this to customers that already have RVs. And so that's kind of where uh, ABC Upfitters comes in. And um, so what we're doing now with Upfitters is taking that experience and what we've done to the OEM and now offering that kind of custom design and integrated uh, experience to the end user that already has an RV. So a lot of, a lot of people I've seen will go and buy a couple of lithium batteries and put them on the tongue and then it just well then your converter may not work right mm -hmm. or you know they oh I'm gonna put solar on the roof and I don't have enough the cables aren't thick enough to actually move that much energy yep. and there's so many little things in these systems that can go wrong I like the idea of the more integrated system it just fewer problems and and that's you'll always discover that you didn't do a good job of specking out your own system when you're camping and you have justified this thousands of dollars to your spouse and then it doesn't work and then you're camping outside and the bear eats you <laughs> and that's yeah. kind of a bummer yeah no absolutely um so yeah that's it's it's really important it is like you said tony the, the a lot of the little things uh, determining the, white, the, the correct uh, wire gauge, uh, the fusing is very important, yeah. and uh, you know tight connections. Um, well, and know, your, testing the system, making your sure your inverter and your um, and the shunt and just all the little pieces that people don't, I don't think, realize. Right. And we have them here um, as just kind of an example, and we'll do some close-up shots of this. But this is the kind of thing that goes into that kind of system. And so you offer different size systems for different yep. needs. Yep, absolutely. So uh, we're really, what we do at ABC Upfitters, so if a customer is interested in saying, I want, I want that package, and that's usually how it starts. They see something like the power package or some other packages that we're doing and say, I want that in my RV. Well, something in a, you know, a coachman chaparral fifth wheel, uh, <laughs> the power package in that is going to look completely different based on the floor plan. You know, there's multiple air conditioners. So we, we definitely take that in consideration. So we have an inquiry form so the customer would fill out. They'd give all their details. They'd even give their camping style, um, how, how much time they're spending off grid, how uh, the climate the storage climate mm. temperature, uh, their their average climate and in, in, in temperature, and um, just their desire to be off grid, and then from there we we design a system based on their input. Interesting. And so so for example, if you got a guy that's maybe up in the northern climate and he just wants to stop every once in a while to use his stuff, we might start him off with something like this with a, a you know a 100 or 200 amp hour battery bank because he's really not going to be utilizing his AC which is a big power draw as opposed to something that might be set up for more w warmer climates you might or a larger RV you want, might want to look at a bigger battery bank so whatever yeah, yeah. I mean our outpost package you know if it was to go this is so our standard is outpost package okay and then the borderland is something kind of like in the middle and uh, and it has these are our packages right here so Oh, the Borderland okay. would be very similar to what's in the uh, E-Pro GeoPro. Okay. Uh, just a 400 amp hour battery um, and then a 3000 watt inverter and then the Apocalypse <laughs> is we're doing as much as we can. So it starts with the 460 and our big 3500 inverter charger which is a little bit bigger than this. Um, and then you can, you know. So this one is called? Put in as many batteries as you want. This one. There are different packages they're they're complete systems and what are we looking at here ben so yeah so this is our going to be our outpost package and really just an entry level uh, uh package into what what we can offer if you're wanting uh 
to run your AC or run heavy AC loads, 110 volt loads. So, um, and again, to kind of preface this, this really, you know, an outpost package in, uh, you know, a 16BH Geo Pro might look different than something that's in a large fifth wheel unit, uh, a Riverstone or something like that. So it really depends on the size, but we're, we're offering these packages as just kind of a, an idea of where we can go um, and then build from there based on your, your recommendation, based on the customer's needs. So, um, so yeah, the outpost package is where it starts and basically we're using our 3000 watt, 160 amp charger, inverter charger. Um, and we call that a combi master. And uh, with, the, with this, we also offer the uh, 200 amp hour uh, uh, masterable MLI battery. And that's really, again, a basic level. Um, we wire it and set up the system in a way that you are still able to run the heavy loads. Um, and that's partially due to the inverter charger being able to, to do that. And then also the the ratings of the 200 amp hour battery. The, there's a lot of 200 amp hour battery banks yeah. out there that are uh, maybe rated for 100 amps DC discharge, whereas uh, our MLI series batteries have uh, industry leading discharge and charge rates, uh, 500 amps on the 230 amp hour battery. So <laughs> um, we can do that. Your fuel tank is what I like to call it. It's gonna be pretty small in the outpost package, but it still gives you that experience. If you're a guy that just wants to stop in and cool down his unit really quick um, and doesn't have a lot of AC use, this is going to be a great option for well, you. And one of the things that I have found lately is a lot of RVs now are being equipped with the 12 volt fridge. Mm -hmm. And those things are a lot more power yeah. hungry than I thought. Yeah. So this is kind of a system you would need to yeah, it's run. A that 12 volt fridge. Absolutely. It's great for your 12 volt loads and lights and everything 12 volt. So this then, you know, you're looking at this here laid out on the table and going, well, you know, does this go on my tongue or where would I put this? And a lot of, one of the neat things about a lithium system is that it doesn't vent. Mm -hmm. So you can put this inside the coach like even a even a smaller travel trailer there are places to hide these parts and you don't necessarily need to see them because you have your uh, panels there that show you what's going on and allow you to control functions and things like that yeah absolutely um there are some people that might want to like show it off like a car show engine right for uh for for the purposes of safety and all of that RVIA just actually, from an OEM standpoint, made it a, a requirement that the lithium batteries be in a sealed system. As long as it has the necessary approvals, you can mount the battery uh, in an interior compartment, non-vented. So yeah, it gives us a lot of options to mount, mount it uh, really anywhere we want. Um, another thing about mounting and what we're doing is really cool is that with our experience with the OEMs and working with different floor plans and designs right from the factory. If we have a customer calling us saying, hey, I have a, an ultralight that I, want, that I want to put a borderland package in or something similar to the power package, we can actually go to the production line with our engineers, look at the trailer, if there's one online, actually look at the trailer, see the floor plan, how everything's wired, um, so we really know exactly the best places to put it and it gives us kind of a, a peek at, at the customer's trailer before they even, you know, before they even huh. provide any information. So it gives us a good idea from a design standpoint. Um, and then we do, in addition, collect all that information and then put it on a 3D print uh, with where it would go. So we can kind of give the customers different options. Usually with a smaller trailer, it's only one option. <laughs> Um, but for the bigger trailers, you usually you have two or three different areas where, where the system could go. That's, so. that's really, so it, it, it's really a, a complete solution that's a lot of peace of mind. I mean, it's, it's way better than dropping $2,000 batteries on your tongue and they're just out there right. and, and it just kind of sort of works, but not really. <laughs> I mean, it, it's funny how monitoring social media channels how many people i know who have bought 
or put together their own system mm -hmm. and just the results are not what they wanted and they're disappointed and have also spent a bunch of money right yeah and there's there's a lot of and i'm not i'm not trying to dog uh you know our competition by any means and, and what's out there currently there's some great battery manufacturers out there some great inverter charger manufacturers um, um, and there's some great applications so if you want to if you want to just replace your lead acid ba batteries with lithium ion batteries that's a great option it's a cost-effective option um, but this really goes a little bit step further and gives you that that option to be able to have the option to camp anywhere yeah. So this is this is really taking it to the next level, um, and we do have options, obviously, for just the drop-in type battery. But I will say that you know you might have a good battery company here and a good inverter company here, um, but really there's no other place uh, that you can bring the system together that has a company that designs all of their components to work with each other under one roof yeah and that's a true true value because you have a lot of expensive parts here being the inverter charger the solar controller the battery if there's something wrong you know there starts to be finger pointing well we think it's the battery well we think it's the inverter and it just becomes a big mess so um, we definitely stand behind uh, our product because we know if it has something to do with this system um, we're gonna we're gonna be able to, to fix it so yeah and it's just a solution it's sort of like a long time ago before I was born right um, we used to build our own computers yeah and it never worked right it never worked <laughs> right no matter what no matter how good you were it worked and then something broke and then it's like oh shoot is it the software is it blah 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 and so now you can just go to the store and buy a computer and it just works and that's sort of like this there are people who are fiddly and like to play with these systems and they have they can have great success or miserable failure but for the people who are like i just want to go camping but i want to accomplish this or i want to go to harvest host or boondockers welcome this is the answer i'm like, looking for Right. So especially for those people who like to play with these things but really shouldn't be playing with these things, like the house we just bought. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. There is some wiring that's going to need to be redone. There is a lot of wiring. Too bad there's gonna... not a ABC Upfitters for houses. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, heck, you could, get a big could enough, use some new wiring. Get big enough solar and battery, it'll run a house. Yeah. So, Stacy, I want to hear some some from you about your experience as uh, doing the marketing and stuff for ABC Upfitters. What are people saying? How are people feeling about it? So, my experience so far has been a lot of interest. Um, a lot of people I've found don't necessarily understand exactly what all of this is. Understandable. Yeah. <laughs> it's understandable that it's not understandable. <laughs> yeah. Um, I do rely on Ben quite a bit when I get those customers that are like, what is this? What is that? Um, and he usually takes over from there. But as far as like marketing and, and whatnot goes, um, we're really just trying to get into the outlets that reach the right customers. And through you guys, this is going to be great. <laughs> um, your, your followers, I'm just super excited about getting this out. <laughs> um, we've gotten to a couple other places with like the, the B vans and stuff. Um, but so far, the feedback on what we have done has been awesome. Well, we're all about stressless camping and having stuff actually work is just Certainly that. Stresses. You don't want to have to be the toolbox guy when you're out camping or the out there with a multimeter at two in the morning going, why is my fridge not working? Or yeah. Only Mike Sokol wants to be that guy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we're just, we're getting out there. Sounds right? good. Where can we find you guys? But It's www.abcmktginc.com. And of course, we'll put a link in our show notes or down there on the video and all of that or on our website, all the, all the places all the people places. find us. Yeah, absolutely. Well, man, it's been great having you and we, we have loved the system. And I know you're not just, even though we are big fans of the Rockwood and Flagstaff product, I know you're in other brands right. as well. Uh, for example, I caught you in a Nobo, 
There was a Thor uh, B van that I saw your system in. There, there are others too. That right. The RV industry is really embracing what you're doing and saying, yeah, we, we like this stressless experience for our customers too. Yeah. So stress, yes. Hey, speaking of stressless, I uh, love to ask this question of put our, <laughs> put our guests on the spot, but I love to hear your, your best and your worst camping memories. <laughs> so can either of you kind of give us some, some great or not so great memories? <laughs> I'm a camping, kind of a camping noob. Uh, we, we purchased uh, Forest River Vibe, which is our ABC marketing showcase trailer. And so I've been camping in that a few times. And uh, I can't really speak of any terribly negative experience. Uh, I've had a lot of great experience because we have a master bolt system in the, uh, in the trailer, so. <laughs> yeah, it's always good to try out your own products and see what the real world is. Yeah. And we have been thrilled to be part of uh, the prototype of this unit. It has been, we, <laughs> when we picked it up in May, we have not not camped in it since then. It's right. literally, we have, we sold our house and we have, yeah, we've put over 4,000 miles on this mini light since then. And uh, it's been it's been fantastic. And it's funny how many people we've shown at campgrounds and they're like, I want that. <laughs> or they're like, wait, that, I thought that wasn't possible. No, it's it's quite possible. Let me show you. <laughs> yeah, and we're, we're, we're just really blessed to be able to work with a great organization like Rockwood Flagstaff. Um, they are definitely uh, a leader in this space, in the small, towable uh, quality travel trailer and uh, to, to have the opportunity to work with them in this great system um, just uh, it, it, it's great because I think it does pique people's interest and what are, what are, what are the leaders in the market doing uh, with with these types of systems and so uh, like Stacy said in in our social media and just getting this out there as much as we can. I mean, we're a small company. We're really seeing that there's just been a lot of interest. You know, people are very interested when you can kind of uh, go through the system and really what we're offering. And if someone could really understand the value, it is expensive, but if they can understand the experience and how that really can reshape the way that they're camping, um, that starts to make a little bit more sense. And so, so yeah, I think we're uh, we're really excited and uh, just look forward to the opportunity of uh, kind of building this up, and we'll have more many more upfits to come. So yeah, yeah. Well, like I say, if you're wanting to go off the grid or, or do more boondocking or visit more harvest hosts and boondockers welcome or any of that, um, I, this is just a good system that just works, and it's you know there's there's always that bias of well I can do it myself for cheap and then if you know what you're doing you can do it yourself for cheap I would my personal preference is I'd just rather have it work <laughs> right out of the gate and ours has so there so you go Stacy something in your face tells me you have a story oh yeah I have a story <laughs> <laughs> um, so we don't have an RV but we have gone camping um, close to home just in Middlebury we live in Bristol we just went down US 20 to Middlebury and we have this really big tent it's like an L shape and it was me my husband and our two kids and my brother-in-law and uh, kids have never gone camping before and at this point Mia was seven maybe eight and Garrett was like a year and a half and uh, never gone camping before so it was an experience but uh, we got there we set everything up everything was going great we went and took a hike and got back played a couple of games made some food and it's starting to get dark out so we go get the kids in their own we have a little blow-up thing for Mia and Garrett was just gonna sleep with us and everybody kind of started to have a meltdown <laughs> and <laughs> for a big tent it was pretty small in that moment <laughs> um, <laughs> To make things worse, it then started to pour down rain. Oh, boy. And uh, we are under a tree, much like 
the one out there. Sorry, you guys can't see it. Um, and it stopped raining, and I'm like, okay, maybe they'll just calm down and go to sleep. No, that didn't happen. <laughs> um, every time the wind would blow, the rain would fall off the leaves oh, of right. the tree. So for a good three hours straight, it was nothing but wind, oh, drops of rain. So nobody slept. Oh boy. And we actually ended up going home at like three o'clock in the morning <laughs> and we left my brother-in-law there to sleep in the tent. <laughs> and uh, the next morning we got up and went and packed everything up. But that was our very first camping experience. Well, hopefully Have you gone back? No, but we plan to. Okay. As soon as Good. it starts to cool off a little bit more, we are going to try it again now that the kids are a little bit older. Um, Mia's nine and Garrett's three, so we're going to try again. But we're really going to plan on the weather this time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that can always be fun. Yeah, we. Well, so the good thing about an RV is when it rains, you might hear some noise on the roof, but you don't. I didn't even know it until this morning I came out. I'm like, oh, it's wetter than it was last night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's been an interesting summer for us for yeah. weather wise because where we were, where we lived for so long in Northern California, about April, it just quits raining until. October, yeah, November, October, November, and there's no rain in the summer. And here it's like, no, it's just yeah. a regular. But that's why it's green and not on fire. <laughs> so there is that advantage. Right. Well, it was almost And on you fire. get the mower. Well, thank you guys so much um, for coming and hanging out with us and showing off your system. Yeah, and letting us abuse the system in our own uh, show. Right, we really right. like it. So. <laughs> Once again, we are on the in Goshen at the 4-H Elkhart County Fairgrounds, and this is yeah. where the Frog Rally will be next week. So if yeah. you are going to be at the Frog Rally, come by Site 200 and see yeah, us. Yeah, we're in Site 200, so and look later, for the flagpole and that's uh, right. Wi-Fi booster. And later this month, we want to remind everyone that the FMCA will be hosting its 105th international convention. That doesn't mean 105 years because they do them twice a year. <laughs> but anyway, uh, International Convention and RV Expo, and we will be gathering at the Lancaster Event Center in Lincoln, Nebraska. That will be August 24th through 27th. Now, if you have not been to an FMCA convention, you do oh, not know what out. you're missing. Yeah. You will be educated, entertained, and most importantly, be able to connect with your FMCA family members. Yeah, it, that's one of the interesting things. People we've met at FMCA conventions, we have since run into at campgrounds, and yes. we have these friends on the road. It's, right. it's quite a neat experience. And there's donuts in the morning. And there's donuts in the morning. So if you've already signed up, we will see you there. And if you haven't signed up, it's actually not too late. Yeah, and there's also a super deal. Uh, you can sign up online at fmca.com. Uh, we will even be teaching some of the seminars that are there. That's right. Uh, you can avoid those if you want. I, <laughs> I wouldn't hold that against you. <laughs> but um, there's a special going on. And if you are not a member and you sign up for the convention, you actually get a free one-year membership in the FMCA. So if you or you, someone you know is interested in becoming a member of the FMCA, please Come to convention, first of all, if, it, if you at all possibly can. And if you can't come to Lincoln, then just go ahead and pay for your membership and come to the next one. You get a discount <laughs> on our discounts and deals. That's right. Use our camping. discounts and deals page and you can get a discount on the membership. Louisa. And then once you're an FMCA member, you get to enjoy all the fun. They're really great. And we've talked about some of the benefits of being in the FMCA. Uh, so we'll put links to that as always. So, uh... How about an RV this week? This week I looked at uh, one of the interesting RV companies out there is Taxa and they have the Taxa Mantis which is a small, very square, very foldable, unusual RV designed by a NASA designer. And it's truly unusual and they've made some big changes to this RV. Uh, one of the complaints that people had was about the bathroom so they completely redid that. And it can have a portable toilet in it. There is a pop-up section and you can now have a full shower in the trailer. There are bunks at the back, or there's a bed at the back, a big hatchback so you can load up gear. And then there's a convertible bunk at the front that also has a table that can work as a sitting or standing desk. So they've really gone through this trailer and as interesting as it was, it's ever more so now. Uh, and we actually ran into a family at a brewery that we <laughs> stayed at through Harvest Hosts. 
who were living in a Taximantis. So it was quite something. I like how their storage is. They're uh, cubbies and then there's like those mesh baskets, yeah, I guess, yeah. inside. So instead of drawers and such, there's those baskets. So you could, you know, take the baskets to your house and fill them. Or you could even have, well, this is baskets for longer trips, this is baskets for shorter trips. Or a basket to take specifically to the shower house. Yeah. 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 It's a neat, you know, it's what happens when you get a NASA engineer building trailers. They're, right. They're a really <laughs> neat thing. So uh, have my review as usual on rvtravel.com. Last week, our question of the week was, <laughs> what is your interest in solar and lithium power? And Hello, if you have any interest in solar and lithium, obviously this is the way to go. Uh, and some of you have started to put your systems together. So call ABC and see if they can help you finish. <laughs> Make it work. <laughs> Make it work. And this week I, we were driving, you know, we've been driving, we drove for six days to get here. Yeah. And you know those brown signs like historic markers and cultural places and recreational? Do you stop at those? There's an app, I think it's called Explore Here, and it actually reads those brown marker signs to you. So if you are really interested in what the signs are about, but you are rushing to get to your next destination, you can at least listen to the marker even if you can't stop and see this the scenic view or whatever it is. Um, there's also, of course, the app called Autio, which used to be called Here Here, and I liked that name better. I but did anyway, too, but we interviewed it is the, yeah, we interviewed them. That's another podcast episode, and put a link in the show notes. We will, and that is stories that you that if you're driving along and you have the system open when you're close to anything that has a story a narrated story it will start narrating to you and some of those are narrated by very famous people including uh, Kevin Costner who's a partner in the company yeah. kind of cool yeah and it's a free app right can't beat that and you can find the question of the week and interact with other cool campers at the Stressless Camping Podcast Facebook group, which is linked on StresslessCamping.com, our home on the internet. And that's uh, also... Also the place where you can sign up to get our weekly newsletters. Yeah, it's free. The, it's free. The first time you enter the website, there will be a pop-up that asks you if you want to sign up. But if you didn't do that and you still want to, go to the bottom of any page and there's a place that you can sign up to get our weekly newsletters. All we do is use that to keep in touch with you once a week. We don't sell it. We don't give it away. We just use it to keep up with you. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And of course, you'll find the show notes for this episode, which is number 163 at stresslesscamping.com or down below on YouTube or in the wherever you are listening to podcasts. And of course, while you're on the website, you don't want to miss our deals and discounts page for discounts and deals on the things that you need to make your camping adventure more stress less. Absolutely. And of course, we're in all the social places, but you can start at stresslesscamping.com. And from there, you jump off to all the places we are. And if you don't want to miss a future episode of the Stressless Camping Podcast, it's free. It's free to subscribe on any podcast catcher. And we are saving you a seat around our virtual campfire. Yeah, our electric campfire. <laughs> our electric <this> campfire. <laughs> also, as always, a reminder that a review, all the reviews really, really help us. And I want to thank Michael. Uh, he has already written a review on Apple, so he went on over to Audible, and that's where he actually listens, and he wrote a review there. So thank you, Michael, for your review. Yeah, we're going to put a, a page on the website to make it easier to find where to review. Apparently, it's a little We realize fiddly. that Apple uh, podcast on your phone or whatever, it's not that easy to find. No. So we will write some instructions so that you can find it, and if you're shy, if you're not shy, you can just ask me. I'll help yeah, you find it. Right. Cheryl and Michael have done that. But um, but if you are shy and you don't want to call us, then just look on the website and we'll put some instructions so you can find where you can write that review. Yeah, so with that, thank you for being with us. Thank you for thank being you. with us. And most of all, happy, happy camping. camping. We hope you learned a lot and had some fun and got some tips for your next stressless camping adventure. We're honored by your reviews on Apple Podcasts, which helps others find us too. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on the adventure, and we look forward to your joining us next week. Until then, happy camping!